Hi friends, welcome back to Aditya RPI Academy Bangalore. Now we are continuing to work with like real time issues and interview questions in Blue Prism RPI. If you really like this video, please subscribe it and you please refer to your friends. Thank you. And the question is, what is the difference between like a global send keys and global send key events? Right. So to do this one, let me take one sample application that is healthcare application. Go to Blue Prism. So here I am designing one business object assigning a name for this one like a global send keys and global send key events so open the business object and go to action and open application modeler click on next and select like a windows application and choose the first radio button that is my application is launched from an executable file click on browse and go to desktop and select a healthcare application then click on next then click on launch So here I'm going to teach to Blue Prism about this uh, application. The first one is, so click on like a yard element, sorry, identify and select like username. Now click on apply, click on add element. So identify, assign a name for this one, let us select a password apply and click on add element identify and capture login button okay right let me check whether uh, the blue prism is going to be identified or not so highlight username and click on highlight so if you observe here it's going to be identified like two elements here okay let me fix this error so select ordinal and click on like a match index then apply and click on highlight now it's able to identify the right one and select the second one that is the password and click on highlight now it is able to identify like both elements and select ordinal then apply click on match index and click on highlight now it's able to identify the right one and login and click on highlight now it's able to identify like you know the right one then click on ok so here i am creating like two actions so one is global send keys and i am creating like one more action Okay, global send key events so drag and drop on navigate stage is for launch so launch application and drag and drop the root one and select like a launch so here so i require like a two data items for both username and password drag and drop like a two data items here so one is for username and one is for password here assign an username and password should be like on you like a same names so username and the data type is uh, text and the initial value is an admin Or else let's say Aditya and password is and select the password and the initial value is so Aditya and click on OK and drag and drop or navigate can navigate stage here.
and drag and drop the username here and then choose an action like a global mouse click center then click on ok like a username like a cursor The next one is the most important thing is that there is global send keys. So drag and drop the root one and select like global send keys and then okay drag and drop the username in expression area. Assign a name for this one. Okay, username like input. then click on ok and similar to that so drag and drop on one navigate stage there's a password cursor and choose global mouse click center And drag and drop one more navigate stage. And drag and drop the root one. And select like a global send keys. And then so drag and drop the password into the expression area. Let me assign a name for this one like a password hyphen input. Then drag and drop one more navigate stage like a login and then select an action like a press. Okay, login link all stages. So reset it. So it is showing like one error. Start valid missing link. Okay, it's not in this action. The error is in this action. Okay. Okay, let me link it. So it's gone. Okay, run it a bit slowly. So if you observe the application, the blue prism is sending all like in global mouse keys uh, option. It is sending in win one stretch. Okay, now we are going now we are going to see like you know global send key events. And to save time, so just copy the entire process, then paste it here. So launch application. So here I am changing the global send key events. And we require so data items also. Or else we can make them like a global. If you make them like a global, we can use them in another action also. Just uh, copy it. Then paste it here. Go to like a username cursor, that's fine global send key events right 
password cursor, password input like a global send keys events. So run bit slowly. Now the application launched. Just you can notice the difference between like send keys and send key events. It simply speak this you know, simply says you know it's a typing. But whereas in send keys it is sending like an inputs like an array stretch. Okay, let me run it once again. You can notice the difference between like a global send keys and global send key events. So reset it. Now I'm using like you know running the process for like a global send keys. Application launch. So it is sending at a stretch. Okay, now I'm going to run, use like another action like global send key events. So reset it, then run it. If you observe here, it seems to be like it's a typing, like a, a keyboard typing. So if you observe here, this application, the surface automation application or healthcare application is accepting like, you know, is supporting like both the global send keys and global send key events, but it's not right answer. The right answer is the global send key events function send keystroke events to the, to an active application, which is, you know, which is not necessarily the target application. Keys are processed by whatever has a focus and the differs from the global send keys means if you observe here. So whenever the applications are focused, then the global send keys can work. So it differs from global send keys function, which sends key strokes to the attached application means. So whichever object the application model is attached to and global send key events uses a lower level method of sending the keys and therefore is more likely to work with some applications and especially an example for this one is Citrix client which will not respond to global send keys and will work with only global send key events. Okay, you got my point. The question, like you know, answer, the best answer for this question is like the difference between like, global send keys and global send key events are especially some applications like Citrix kind of applications, Citrix clients will will won't respond to like a global send keys, will work with only like a global send key events. Thank you for watching. And if you really like this video, please subscribe it and you please refer to your friends. Thank you.